just got to fast track and it had a bloody dead battery so I've just put the charger on it uh, started it up it was a bit full of dust actually to be fair. Let's pull on that. I've already put my charger out, I've just got this one of the cable to put away. And um my dad's just getting loaded up with fur now. Ready to go into the fields. Lovely morning. I've just got the the key to it, take the roller sheet back. I'll do that now. So I've just taken the sheet off. You can see the trailer inside. It's climbing. So I need to put this hook in here. Like that. So when I tighten up, the sheet's not going to go anywhere. So we'll get six bags of fur in here. It's not being used this trailer much. You get all oh, paint still on the floor. Right, we're on the route to Raskell for now to get this fertiliser. So I'll, I might do a bit of filming on the way back. Put my camera up. Let's stop with loading the fertiliser now. I've got four in. It's getting another four out now. Just leaving Raskell for now. I've got ten bags in trailer. That should do. That should finish us off for the wheat. So this is where we bring all our wheat, barley and rye. Grain merchants. Just going to unload these bags now. There's one falling down there. I might have to tip it out in the bucket. Might be the easiest job. I've got it in a position now. You might be able to see us unload it. They're a little bit harder because uh, obviously the bag lifter you've got a it's got like a bottom bit so when the bag slides backwards I'll show you after but the bag will slide backwards like a bar at the bottom so you can't get you can't get too close to the trail because you'll hit trail you see so but we've got three left and one one here might, might be able to get a strap on it if not I will just uh, like I say tip it into the bucket might be the easiest job but we'll see I'll stop that there. This is what I've done. I put a strap round here, try and lift it up. Right, up at that. Right, down at that. It's just going to fall down. Yeah. Can you uh, put, put it, bring it to here? Right. That's it, let go. Down. All right, I'll just try and put the strap short. Just got my dad the Terex to finish doing the fertiliser because I'm going to be using the... Uh, the JCB TM320 based. I've got the muck trailer on now, so we'll go cart some muck. Alright, guys, we'll, we'll just uh, get this trailer loaded with some muck. And we'll start carting it. We're not going too far from the farm, about, about five, ten minutes, not too far. First couple of loads are going to be quite awkward to get in until I can get oh, this bit back. 
Yeah. I forgot. I forgot how comfy that that fast track was on the road because obviously I went to Raskell. Takes a good half an hour, 40 minutes to get there. Uh, well, I say good half an hour. So comfy. Plus it does is it 65k, 70k, something like that on the road, but I went the I went the back way you see so just took it steady. That picture alright. Should have gone I should have reversed a bit more. See that all right. Everyone, week doing this week doing that bit of Just driving around um, to Raskill this morning, five of some bad crops. There's not going to be much of a yield this year for a lot of farmers. All this bad weather. Like it, our wheat's not tall at all. It's uh, it's not looking good. When the barley's all right, but it's not worth anything, you know. But then you then you got Tesco's, who's made profits of what was it? Is it in the billions or is it like it's a lot of money? I know of that. It's more than our single, well, the funding we get for farming off the of government. But what, what we've looked, what we're losing this year, well not this year, I think we've got a few years, but when it gets faded out, then we've got to be on our own. But then they're paying us to plant wildflowers and and um, what else, like margins and cover crops, something what's not gonna feed the nation, but it's gonna look after the wildlife. And I, I, I do like doing that, because I, I do cover crops anyway. But then you got to think if there's a major incident in a world, are we self-sufficient? Can we, can we feed the nation if something happens? I think that's what the government needs to be looking at. Um, and obviously Tesco's making billions, or millions, in profits. I think it was Ollie Bloggs, I watched Ollie Bloggs last night, and he, he was saying that every person in the country if you take 30, 35 pound off them, that's how much Tesco's are making in profit. But anyway, that's my little rant for today. A couple more loads. I won't stack it too much because we're not going too far. Probably maybe half a load on the front.
There's the muck heap there. I've done one load already. up to it I think there was, was it two load here before? Or was it three load? I think there was two load here for before. I've just bought another two. I'll probably have about, how many load will I have today? About 10, yeah, about 10 load today, I reckon. So it, this area will be quite full, but once it rots down a bit, you'll be able to come in with load and push it up. But Harvest isn't that far away, really, when you think about it. What, what we're now, the 17th of April. Um, it's not going to be far off, is it? It's, it's going to be a frost tonight. Zero degrees. It's going to be cold, but there's a cold northerly wind now. So, right, we'll get back and get loaded. Uh, yesterday I said about these three windows weren't very good. And on my trail, on a 16 ton, it's this Perspect. That's what it looks like. Oh, when you got the sheet open, you can see right into the trailer. It's great, but them three windows are absolutely rubbish because the sun glares off it. You can't see nothing. Uh, I'm just dropping the trailer off now because we've finished moving that muck. I'm going to put the pigtail cultivator on and just do a bit of cultivating, get some air in, air in the soil. Uh, just finished moving that muck, just got to tidy up the wet bases. I've just got the pigtail cultivator on the fast track. What we're going to do is, oh, if I can see out my bloody window, I might drive down this track here. Just going to get some air, some more air into this field here where pigs were. Then when it when it dries up a bit more, we'll come, I'll uh, put some soil on and go a bit deeper. Then that muck wants moving. Then we can maybe get some like a cover crop in here just to start fixing the land. Whoops. I've just pushed her out, but it's popped out. I don't know how that's happened, because that's still down. It's just come out come out the ball. It's not what we want. I've just done my first pass, and it's popped out. But I tried to pull forward so it dug it round, and it would pull it, pull it back round. Wouldn't do that. I've used the top link, trying to wiggle it back in. It's just holding on a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go get the loader and just lift it up and put it on like that. That's annoying. One of the last jobs of the day. There we go. Last bit tidying up to do. But, right, we're going to drop this bucket off. Um, then we'll go to the fast track and lift that cultivator back on. Success, got it back on. Let's see what happens this time. I'll just move the, the JCB and uh, give it another go. So I've just uh, tried to level this out a bit, get more, a bit more air into it. It's drying already on, on, in some places. Um, like down there, that bit there, these bits, but all the wet bits is full of water, but I reckon it'll be dry tomorrow. If we don't have, if we don't have too much rain, I'll give it another go tomorrow. Give them maybe put subsoil in, subsoil to go a bit deeper to get rid of this this water so it can flow away but I'm happy right I'll um, go get the feed uh, I need to go feed the outdoor pigs now and uh, do the medication nick the water fast track's a bit mucky now I'll have to give that a wash tomorrow just fed that that bin uh, that feeder there just checking out pigs now Yeah, I thought I saw some of it. TM looking well, I'll just check his side. I'll go inside the pen. M2 scrapping. Let's have a walk through. Uh, then we'll go, put, I'll put the, the TM away. 
then I'll walk through a different way on the farm because I'll do this first. Looking alright though. Uh. Just walking through the scrape through now, end of day. Just checking everything. These will be getting mucked out again either tomorrow or Friday because they've used quite a lot of their straw. Not much muck up back, but we definitely want bedding up. Looking well. Right, I'll finish checking this shed, then I will go check the, the four bays and wiener house. I feel like I'm doing all my checking up backwards, so normally we normally do it on a morning, don't I? But um, I didn't film anything this morning checking round because we, we, we had to go. Oh, well, I had to go get that fertilizer, so I was, I was busy. Yeah, they've been here four weeks on Friday, so I'll, I'll probably have them for another four weeks four to five weeks then they'll be getting then they'll be going to a different farm and I'll have to muck out and clean out and all that good stuff right that's it Wednesday done and dusted we've got a lot done today got all that muck shifted what I wanted to do I'm looking over there again I should be looking there <laughs> uh, yeah I've got all that muck shifted I wanted to do we've got most of all the weeks done except for some of the first weeks I just need to speak to Sam and see if he wants us to do that or not. Uh, spring barley's been done and finished off uh, a little bit of winter barley. So yeah, we've got an on top of it job. Just need it to dry up a bit more. Oh, no. oh, and that cultivator come off a fast track as well. That was a bit of a nightmare, but you'll we got it got it back on again. So yeah, it's been a good day. Let me know how your day's been in comments. And just oh yeah, they're about that little whinge about Tesco a bit yeah, Tesco's making all that money and oh, it just winds me up supermarkets. Um but anyway, onwards and upwards, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, remember to like and subscribe, guys. Cheers.